Hundreds of grassroots football referees in England have told the BBC that they fear for their safety on the pitch. Out of almost a thousand referees who responded to a BBC Radio 5 Live questionnaire, just under 300 said they'd been physically abused by spectators, players, coaches or managers. Some described being punched, headbutted and spat at, as Jane Dougal reports. You're always one decision away from a smack in the mouth. I've had people comment on my chest in the middle of a game. It could be threats against your family, and it is getting worse and worse and worse. At grassroots level, the abuse of officials across the country has risen to breaking point. Threatening, I'm going to smash you up at the end of the game. Just you wait. Ryan Crabtree referees for junior and men's leagues in Pendleton and North Yorkshire. He's been assaulted multiple times. After the game, uh, a group of men, when I were a teenager, uh, chased me out of the changing room, out onto the field, and I've had to then run down the back street, hide, basically. Do you fear for your safety? Uh, all the time, uh, every single weekend. A BBC questionnaire sent to 7,000 members of the Referees Association in England found that of the 927 who responded, 908 had experienced verbal abuse from spectators, players or coaches. 293 said they'd been physically abused. And 440 said they thought the abuse was worse now than it was five years ago. President of the Referees Association, Paul Field, wants a life ban for those responsible before it's too late. One day in this country, a referee will lose his life or her life. If a person is banned from football for uh, willful abuse or assaults, why should they be allowed to attend any football matches? He feels it starts at the top, with children copying the actions of Premier League players on television. The questionnaire also found many had experienced racist, homophobic and sexist abuse. 18-year-old Megan Belcher has been refereeing for three years. While officiating at an under-13s match, she was attacked by a parent. came running on the pitch with his fist raised at me. Uh, a, the two coaches from the team that he was a part of came onto the pitch and kind of stopped him and said, hey, stop. He was still yelling abuse at me and saying this is why girls shouldn't be in football. It was probably the scariest experience I've ever had. It really had an impact on my mental health as well. Megan has come to watch former Premier League player Chris Sutton, who's been asked by Radio 5 Live to referee his first match. And, uh, don't forget to whistle loudly. I'll do my best. It's a junior game. Chris wants to find out what it's like on the other side. What a ball, what a ball that was. He's admitted previously to confronting a young referee whilst watching his son play. I walked onto the field because I was, you know, concerned about how badly injured he was. I, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I realise how difficult it is, but, you know, you also, you know, you're a parent. There are, you know, I was a parent as well at that particular time. After the match, Megan told Chris what had happened to her. You know, that's, that's totally unacceptable. You know, any, any sort of abuse. And I, I think that that's, you know, part of the reason which, um, you know, I'm here today, I played, but to see, to see the other side. Many who responded to the BBC questionnaire felt referee abuse wasn't being tackled sufficiently by the FA. But the organisation has said they are continuing to do everything they can to stamp out this behaviour. This is the FA's new campaign, making it clear that action will be taken against abuse. They say stronger sanctions and a three-year refereeing strategy are coming soon in order to tackle this issue. Enough is enough. Many referees feel the current deterrence won't stop verbal and physical abuse and that eventually, grassroots referees will walk away from the game they love. Jane Dougal, BBC News. Elijah Kyra, a referee, has been refereeing for five years and started when he was 14. Uh, yes, um, I myself am from Southampton, Hampshire. Uh, as you've said, I've been refereeing now for five years and when it comes down to refereeing experiences, I've had really good ones and I've had really poor ones, unfortunately. You know, you have some games every once in a while where, you know, you don't get any issues, but unfortunately, a majority, you do get issues whether it's from players, coaches, parents, it can all very much vary depending on age groups and the sort of quality and size of the game. But at the same time, it, some of the things I've just heard are just appalling. And to think these are from parents of like 12-year-olds who are trying to set them an example 
over just a grassroots game that really the results shouldn't matter. It should be about developing the players and also referees. You know, we're there to develop ourselves as well, become a better ref, get more experience out of it. We're there to do a job. You know, we're humans. We're going to make mistakes at the end of the day. Yet parents, many coaches and players seem to expect referees to, you know, just get everything perfect, especially even when they don't have bar and all that at the weekends. Yeah. Clearly, we've got to be very careful about what we say on live television, but I wonder if you can just tell us a little bit more about the sorts of issues you've faced. Is it mainly verbal abuse? It's not just verbal, because when it comes down to verbal abuse, I've like, heard every swear word there pretty much is. I mean, uh, uh, thankfully, I don't get much sexist quotes. Of course, I myself am male, but I know many female referees that have had unfortunate sexist terms used against them and things like that. But when it comes down to the abuse, it also can be physical. I mean, thankfully, I've never been assaulted as a referee myself. But I still have players getting up right in my face. I still have players giving me a little shove, which I wouldn't put down to assault. But, I mean, it still is a red card offence under the laws of the game. And I still have people, like, walking over to me. Well, I say walking, storming over to me, looking like they're going to. But, I mean, I've been lucky on that area. But I do know of quite a few refs that have been hit, kicked all sorts but you know I've also had threats before I've had people telling me you better watch yourself for the rest of this game ref if you know what's best for you things are going the lines of that as well as many other terms of course I won't repeat no I won't be repeating yeah. on live TV but yeah some can be pretty poor